Hello, let us solve this one. So here it says there are two clocks in my office, one of which is one minute fast every hour and other one is two minutes behind every hour. Yesterday I have set them both on the correct time but when I check today, one clock said 11 and another clock said 12. At what time did I set the time yesterday? So this is very simple question. I will explain it with perfect example. So let's just assume right now, right now, time is 10 o'clock. It's not given in the question. I am just taking example to make you understand. If right now time is 10 o'clock and let us say this clock is also set on right time at 10 o'clock. So all are showing 10 o'clock right now. Now what will happen at 11 o'clock? At 11 o'clock question says it's one minute fast. This clock is one minute fast every hour. So in one hour it will be 11 1 and this will be 10 58 isn't it now what will happen after one more hour at 12 o'clock so right time is 12 o'clock but these will again go one minute faster every one hour it means when it's really 60 minutes time it goes ahead by 61 minutes so again 61 minutes ahead it will be 12 2 and it will go two more minutes behind it means every one hour this clock goes ahead by 58 minutes only because it's two minutes late every hour so that means when there is exactly 12 o'clock this clock will show 11 56 isn't it so here i want you to observe that what is the difference between one minute fast clock and two minutes behind clock after one hour. So after one hour we started our calculation at 10. 10 is not given in the question. I just took it for our understanding. So after one hour if you observe this one difference of three minutes 10 58 and 11 1. So there is an error of three minutes in the timing is it. Here if you observe there is an error of six minutes. It means every one hour there is error of three minutes, isn't it? Difference between one minute fast clock and two minutes slow clock is three minutes and increases by three minutes every hour. Now if you observe this, then what is the difference between one minute fast clock and two minutes behind clock? So difference is one hour and that is 60 minutes, 60 minutes. So based on what I just explained, every hour there is difference of 3 minutes between fast clock and slow clock. So how many hours it will take to get the difference of 60 minutes? So every one hour there is difference of 3 minutes. So for difference of 60 minutes, how many hours it will take? So this will take 20 hours, is it? I tried to explain these in as easy language as possible. 3 minutes difference every 1 hour. So when there will be 60 minutes difference between 2 clocks because here it says 11 and 12 it means there is a difference of 60 minutes. So it will take 20 hours to get these difference. It means, it means the clock was set on correct time 20 hours back. 20 hours back it was set on correct time. Now let us think further. In 20 hours, one minute fast clock will be how many minutes ahead of regular time? Ahead of right time. So, if you observe here, it's one minute ahead of right time. Then it's two minutes ahead of right time. So, in 20 hours, the fast clock, fast clock is this one. That's why it's ahead. This is behind. This is fast clock. So in 20 hours, this clock will be 20 minutes ahead, isn't it? So actual time right now is 11.40. Let me write over here with different color pen. 11.40 because this is 20 minutes ahead. Every hour it goes 1 minute ahead. So in 20 hours, it will go 20 minutes ahead. So actual time is 11.40. Even if you do same thing with this one, this is the slower clock, 2 minutes behind clock. Every hour it goes 2 minutes behind. Like if it is 11 o'clock right now it will show 58, 10, 58. If it is 12 o'clock right now it will be 4 minutes behind. So every 1 hour it goes 2 minutes behind. 
so in 20 hours it will go 40 minutes behind so this time is 40 minutes less than actual time so if you add 40 minutes that is again 1140 so now we know the time right now is 1140 and these clocks are showing wrong time one is showing 11 one is showing 12 but actual time right now is 1140 now the clock was set 20 hours before so let's go 20 hours back in the timing so right now it's 1140 if i go one hour back 1040 two hours back 940 three hours back 840 four hours back 740 five hours back 640 six hour back 540 seven hours back 440 eight hours back 340 nine hours back 240 10 hours back 140 11 hours back 1240 12 hours back 1140 again but I need to go 20 hours back 13 hours back 1040 14 hours back 940 15 hours back 840 16 hours back 740 17 hours back 640 18 hours back 540 19 hours back 440 20 hours back 340 and we don't have 340 in our choice but it can be afternoon time so in afternoon 340 is 1540 in 24 hours clock now how you can do it quickly in order to make you understand in easiest way i did everything but what you can do for quicker calculation you can go like this that 1140 if you go 12 hours back it will be again 1140 and then 13 hours back 1040 14 hours back 940 and this is how you can do quickly you don't need to show everything in order to make you understand i did long things but time is also very important in your exam so you can go quicker like this i hope i explained this high difficulty level question in simpler language thank you